Kevin Seidbottom here, speaker, author, and trainer. And I go around, I teach sales organizations and leadership teams how to build trust and influence with your customers and your team members, drive higher revenues, and more profit. Now, today let's talk about, you know, what kind of strategy can you use to increase your revenue by increasing sales in your organization? Let's talk about how that works. Well, in any kind of strategy, you got to have planning, right? And in your planning, you got to have a process of how you flow through everything. I know it sounds boring, but we need to have a process so that we can answer the five buying decisions that the customers have. Because if we don't answer those five buying decisions and in the correct order, guess what happens? We turn into a commodity. And then the only differentiating factor for commodity is price. Yeah, I've worked with tons of purchase organizations and understand their philosophy. I actually went and learned from them for a while just so I can understand how and why they make everything a commodity because that's their goal. They're the defense of the organization. Well, just like a customer, they want to make sure they're getting a good value and a good return by the product or service they're going to procure. We need to make sure that our strategy is set up correctly. So that's why I always ask, show me your process. Show me your sales process. Most of the time I get a blank stare or, well, we do this or that and this is how it works. And I go, no, no, no. What's your written plan so everybody that shows up on every interaction with the customer has the same language, same message, and is answering the right things. Most will sit there and sit back and go, well, we kind of let them kind of formulate their own ideas. Well, that's a problem. Now you can have a process and everybody can put their own language to that process, but if you don't have a process, you're not going to make headwinds. So you need to make sure that you're using a process. And now here's the deal. You know, everybody hates the word process because it sounds boring. It's not one of those action words that everybody loves. But, you know, any fit athlete follows a process of how they train, how they fuel their body, and how they show up to get their results. Well, so does Navy SEALs, the most elite of the elite. Those guys, yeah, they actually train before they go out to their mission. They build up their site of what that mission is going to look like as best they can with blueprints and everything. They go and practice and then debrief, and then practice, and debrief, and practice, and debrief, till it's second nature. And when they show up on the mission field, that's why they're successful, because they consistently practice. You know, most of the deaths you see out on the military field is from people who aren't practiced, where they're actually showing up and they're having to ad-lib. Like, you know, the Marines are sent into an area that they don't really know all that well, and they show up and someone surprises them and something happens and they're just it just happens when you wing something that is when you're going to have catastrophes but by practicing and following a process and training and getting really good at what you do you're going to be able to optimize and be extremely successful increase your sales output okay now when we show up, we need to make sure that we're answering three questions. Do I like you? Do I trust you? And how can you help me? We need to make sure that our, we understand what our product's doing to answer those questions. We need to understand how we're going to do that as well. Because if we don't do that, well, people aren't going to trust us. You know what's going to happen? You're going to see them go down to the competition who sells a similar product because we don't buy from people we don't like, know, and trust. That's right. If they don't like, know, and trust us, they're not buying from us. And they're moving on to somebody they can like, know, and trust. So we need to make sure we're answering those three questions in our process of how to sell to those people. We also need to know what our product actually does and how it benefits people. So if you have sold some of your product and service to some people, ask them why find out get some feedback of what it's done for them maybe you'll find out how you can improve it a little bit but you'll get a demographic and understand what the solutions the why people buy the why they don't buy the what and the how okay we need to focus on what solutions and why it's helping people and that has to be adapted into our sales process now 
We need to be intentional on every interaction with people, whether it's customer service or service or the salesperson. We need to be intentionally helping people and solve their issues to make them successful. Because if they're successful, well, here's the deal. They're going to tell other people about our product and service. They're going to be our sales force that we don't even have to pay if we do a good job. We need to constantly be showing up and giving tips and tricks to people to help them. And that ends up being an open hand. You hand people information. That's right. Not all of your IP and all that stuff. But if you share the information on how they can be successful, guess what happens? You're able to receive stuff. That's right. With an open hand, people can actually put something in to your hand. When you have a closed fist, it's kind of hard to receive anything. So we need to be intentionally showing up, making sure that we're adding value every time. If we do that, People will start liking us and trusting us and we'll be able to grow. And we walk through the five buying decisions and answer everything they need so they buy our product and service and, well, with higher profits. So if you need any help on this, feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. Okay? Be glad to help you. If this video was helpful, hit like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody that it might help. If you guys are in a discussion, this could help them share it with them. That's why I do these videos to add value and help you increase your sales. Okay. See you next time.